Hi, welcome back to Hooking as a Lifestyle. Debbie here. Today I'm going to show you how I created these cute mittens. And these are cable mittens and they're very easy to work up. They're fast to work up and the instructions are really easy to follow. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to create them. There's a pattern for the left hand and of course a pattern for the right hand and this is what they look like on your hands and these I work them up to fit my size hands and it's easy to adjust for your own hand if you have um, slightly bigger hands or slightly smaller hands or if you're making them for a child or uh, even a toddler you can work these up if you wanted to but for this video I'm just going to show you how I created them in my size but I'll show you, I'll tell you how to make them smaller or slightly bigger. So stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly what you will need to create them. So to create our mittens, we are going to need two different size hooks. And the size that I'm going to be using are an I and also a K, which is the K is the five, the 6.5. The eye is the 5.5. You will also need some scissors and a tapestry needle to sew up your ends. And the yarn I'm using is going to be Red Heart with Love. And this is color Holy Berry. And this is a size medium worsted weight yarn. Size 4. And I really love this color red. So perfect for the holiday season. So this is what we'll need to create our mittens. So let's get started on the instructions. All right, so to, before we begin, I just want to show you really quick. Here are two gloves that I worked up. These are small size. These are smaller size, and I made these for my daughter. But I just wanted to show you the difference when using um, the different size hooks. The same yarn, but diff different size hooks. With this one, I used, of course, to start. We're going to start from the, from the bottom of the glove up. So the band here that goes around the wrist, I created that with the eye hook. And then the rest of the, the glove, I used a J hook on this one, which is the six millimeter hook. And then for this one, I used the eye for the bottom. And then for the rest of the glove, I used the K. It's not much of a difference, but it's a little bit wider, I should say. So let me just open it up like this. This is what the glove looks like after it's completed without the thumb and I don't know if you can see the difference it's just a tiny bit of a difference in the width here so just wanted to put that out there so you, you can know that you could just adjust your hook and get different sizes um, okay so to begin we're gonna get our yarn and hook which is the eye hook the 5.5 to create the band that goes here on the wrist part and all you're going to do is create a foundation single crochet of 25. So to begin foundation single crochet, we start with two chains and then we're going to single crochet into that first chain, which I like to go into the back bump and create our first foundation single crochet and we're going to yarn over and pull through one we have two on our hook we're going to yarn over go through one which creates the chain and then yarn over pull through two which creates the single crochet and to make our second single crochet we're going to go into those two back here so we're going to go in there to both we yarn over pull through yarn over go through once that creates our chain and then yarn over go through both and that creates our second single crochet so we do that again we go into the back here and we're going to go in through both of those yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through once yarn over pull through twice 
and that's our third single crochet so we're going to continue to do this until we have 25 all right so i have my 25 foundation single crochet and let me just show you how to count them i'm gonna start from right here so this is the way that we were making our single crochets right but to count them you have to turn it around to the other side and that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five the chain here at the beginning you never count that is what starts your foundation um row so to continue on for the next four rows we're going to chain up one turn our work and we're going to do a single crochet in the back loops only for four rows and this will create the band that goes around your wrist very simple so I'm going to continue here until I have a total of five rows of single crochets four rows of just in the back loops all right so I'm almost at the end of row five and I just wanted to mention that I like to put um, my hook into both loops in the last stitch of the row for every row I just like to end my row like that so instead of going through the back loop, I'm going to go through both loops here at the end. And that completes five rows of single crochets in the back loop. Well, the first a foundation single crochet row and then four rows of back loop only. So this is the band that goes around our wrist like so. And now we're going to continue on to the rest of the glove. Or the mitten and we're gonna chain up well before we do that we have to switch hooks here's where we switch the hook to the K 6.5 to the bigger hook and then we'll chain up two and we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna start with the left hand <clears throat> first so for the left hand this is the pattern that you need to fat on following for this row so you're gonna chain two and then you're going to have double crochet into that same space but in the back loop only so you have double crochet there and then you're going to have double crochet into the next 13 spaces so you have a total of 14 half double crochets to begin this row into the back loop and since this hook is bigger so it's take it it's gonna be a little tough to get into the to the spaces because we did it with a smaller hook so just keep that in mind but it will be fine so the part we're working on right now this is the this side is gonna be the back side of the glove and that's why we only work in half double crochets. And I lost count, so let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I need two more half double crochets. Okay. And now, in the next two arm spaces, we're going to do a double crochet into both loops. So double crochet one and double crochet two in the next space we're going to do a half double crochet in the back loop only okay and the next four spaces we're going to do double crochet into both spaces it's one two three and four all right in the next space we're going to do a half double crochet into the back loop only 
in the next two spaces we're going to do double crochets into both spaces that's one double crochet and that's two double crochet and then of course the last space we do a half double crochet into both so half double crochet into this last space and that's the end of row six okay and now we're going to move on to row seven and we're going to chain up two we're going to turn our work let's pull this yarn here and the first st stitch is always going to be a half double crochet into the back loop just like so in these next two double crochets we're going to do front post double crochet so we insert our hook through the stitch to create a front post double crochet and then another front post double crochet In that next half double crochet again we'll do a half double crochet into the top of it into the back loop and make sure that you're skipping those two double crochets because we did front post double crochets in them so look at the back of your work and those two you're gonna skip and into this one right here you're gonna do your half double crochet in the back loop only just like so and then the next four double crochets from the previous row We'll do the same thing, front post, double crochets. That's one, that's two, three, and four. Again, you look at the back of your work, so make sure that you're not putting your half double crochet in the wrong place. And we do a back loop, um, double, I mean, half double crochet, sorry. In the next two double crochets, again, we go through the stitch to create a front post double crochet one and front post double crochet two. All right, so let's recap on what we just did. We started with a half double crochet in the back loop only, front post double crochet into the two double crochets there, then a half double crochet in the back loop only, four front post double crochets into the into those four double crochets and then half double crochet in the back loop only and then two front post double crochets into those two double crochets and then for the rest of the row which is 14 half double crochets that's exactly what we're going to do again we're going to do back loop half double crochet in the last 14 well the last 13 and then in the last space you do go through both loops really simple it's not hard at all to um follow this pattern i try to keep it as simple as i could almost there and then the last one we go through both loops and then we'll just chain up two, we turn our work, and then we go for the eighth round, we're gonna do the same thing again, half double crochets in the back loops only for 14 of them. Thirteen and 14 half double crochets all right so now we're here at where the double crochets are so in those first two double crochets we're gonna do back loop double crochet so we're gonna take our hook behind our work and go through the stitch to make back post double crochet and then the next one we do the same thing back post double crochet and then in the half double crochet we're gonna do a half double crochet into the back loop so here we have our two back post double crochets so this next one here as you can see these are the two that we just did these two so we're gonna go into this next one with a half double crochet in the back loop only and then in the next four we're gonna do front post I mean I'm sorry we're gonna do back post double crochet all four of them one 
two. Three. That's four. Then we're gonna do the half double crochet into the half double crochet, back loop only. Back post, double crochet into the next two double crochets. That's one, and this is two. And then in that last space, right here, we're gonna do a half double crochet, just like so. Okay, we chain up two again, and row nine, we're gonna do the back loop half double crochet into that first space, front post double crochet into the double crochets, so front post one, front post two. And then in the half double crochet, just turn your work like this. Make sure you skip over those two. And then that third one, you know, do your half double crochet. Just like so. And now here, in these four front post double crochets, is where we do our trebles. And this is gonna give you the let me just show you the glove, the mitten, the cable effect. Oops was on camera so this is what we're gonna do now which is which are the trebles and it's what's gonna give you the cable effect so we yarn over twice on our hook and we go we're gonna skip these and go to the last front post double crochet and then that one will begin with our first treble so yarn over twice over twice three times we'll do it again yarn over twice go through the front post and do your treble there. Yarn over twice. And then we're gonna go into the next one. So we're going backwards, basically. And we're gonna do a front post there, a treble. And then the last one. We go through that stitch and do our treble into that last front post double crochet. And as you can see, we just gotta twist it over like that, and that gives you your cable effect. So then, again, into the half double crochet, we do a half double crochet in the back loop. And then, in the next two front post double crochets, we'll do front post double crochets. One, and two. Then we're going to do half double crochet in the back loop of the next 14, of the next 13, excuse me. And then in the last one, we go through both loops. Here's my last half double crochet. I'm going to go through both loops, just like so. All right, for the next four rows now that we're going to complete, we're going to repeat exactly what we just did. So we're just gonna chain up two. We're gonna turn our work. We'll do our half double crochets, and then we're gonna do back post double crochets into those double crochets. And then we're gonna repeat what we did, which was we chain up two, and then we front post double crochets into those double crochets. But I'm just gonna go ahead and continue here with you. It will be all written out in the instructions I don't want to confuse you, so I'm just going to continue here with my 10th row. And I'm going to do all my half double crochets. Oops, I went through both there. Here we go. Alright, that was my last half double crochet. Now into these two, I'm going to do back post double crochets. Because as you can see, that's where our front post double crochets are. So we're gonna go into the back of them and do back post, double crochet, and back post, double crochet. And then in the next one, we're gonna do our half double crochet into the back loop only. And here you have to stretch them out so you can see them, but you're also gonna do back post, double crochets into these next four. 
So we're gonna go through the back of the stitch, pull up a loop, and then do a back post there. The next one, like I said, just stretch it out so you can see it. You're gonna go in there. The second one, stretch it out so you can see. Put your hook through there. That's three, and then the last one, just like so. And that's four back post double crochet into this next one we're going to do our half double crochet right on top of the half double crochet then we'll do back post double crochet back post double crochet just like so and then the last space we'll go through both spaces to both loops and we will do a half double crochet to end our row so that was the end of ten, the 10th row. To move on to the 11th, chain up two, turn your work, just like so. Half double crochet into the back loop of that first space. Front post, double crochet into the next two. And this is number two. And then in that next one, we'll do a half double crochet into the back loop only. If it's hard to see, just work it with your fingers and just find the back space and do your half double crochet there. And then now we're gonna do front post double crochets into these double crochets here. So go through the stitch like so of the next four for front post double crochets. Here we go. The next one we're gonna do the half double crochet. And again, just turn your work so you can see it. Could be a little hard to work into. There we go. And then we're gonna do front post double crochets into these next two. One and two. And then of course we are left with just the half double crochets into the back loops. So continue to do that and I'll meet you when I'm ready to start row 12. All right, so here I am at the end. My last half double crochet goes through both loops. Chain of two, this is row 12. And we're gonna do a, again, half double crochet. And I'll meet you when I get to my first double crochet space. All right, so here I am. I did my 14 half double crochet. Now I'm gonna do back post double crochets into these next two. Back post, double crochet, and my second back post double crochet here. Then we're gonna do our half double crochet in the back loop only. And then we're gonna do back post into the next four. That's one. That's two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do our back post half double crochet into that next one right here. Back post double crochet. And then back post double crochet. And then in the last space, it looks thick because we started with the chain two. That's why it looks like that. But just find your opening right there. And then complete with a half double crochet. Now to begin row 13, we're going to chain up two. We're going to turn our work. Just check out what your glove is looking like already. Really pretty. Now we're gonna do our first half double crochet. And then front post double crochet into the next two. And then we're gonna repeat 
well, first we do the half double crochet into the next half double crochet, back loop. And then in these next four front post double crochets, we're gonna do our trebles, is what we did in round nine. So we just yarn over twice, and we'll skip over to the last front post double crochet, and we'll do a treble in there, front post treble, front post treble, going backwards in the next one. Front post treble in the next one. And front post treble in the last one here. In the first one, I should say. There we go. And then we just twist it over like that. This gives you the cable effect. And then we do a half double crochet into this next half double crochet. And then we'll do front post, double crochet, and front post, double crochet. And then do your half double crochet, and I'll meet you in the next round. For round 14, we'll chain up two, turn our work, let's half double crochet those first 14. Alright, so here I am. I did my 14 half double crochets. And now I'm going to do back post double crochets. One, and then the second one. So that's two front post double crochets. I mean, back post double crochets. And then we're going to do our half double crochet here in the next half double crochet. Right in the back loop. Again, this is where it's twisted, so we gotta pull out work so we can see where the first front po back post double crochet is gonna go, which is right there. And then again, I'm gonna pull on my work, find my next one, go through the back, do a back post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet. Oops, do that again. Be tricky, but just get in there do it and then the last one which is this one right here go right through the back of that and then in the next one we're gonna do our half double crochet which is right there this is the half double crochet so we're gonna go right on top and do a half double crochet there and then back post double crochet into the next two This is number two. And at the top of this one here, we we'll complete a half double crochet into both loops. Just like so. So this is the back of your glove. This is the inside of the glove, I should say. This is my left hand. Okay. So this is the back and this is the front. And then to continue on, with row 15, what we're going to do is chain up two, turn our work, front is facing us, and then we're going to do half double crochet into that first space, front post double crochet into the next two, one, and two, half double crochet into that next half double crochet, remember sometimes we got to twist it a little bit. Do a half double crochet in the back loop. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong one. My bad. You see, it could get a little confusing. It's this next one right here. This is the half double crochet right here. So we're going through there. We complete it. And now we're going to do front post double crochet into the next four. One. Two. three and number four just like that half double crochet into the next half double crochet front post double crochet into the next two and then we'll half double crochet the 
next 13 and then in the back loops only of the next 13 and then in the last we'll do half double crochet into both loops to begin row 16 we'll chain up two turn our work and again we'll half double crochet across all right so i did my 14 half double crochets now i'm going to do back post double crochet into the next two that's one and two and then i'm going to do a half double crochet okay. sorry about that my battery died but we was here at the half double crochet so i'm going to do a half double crochet in the back loop only and now back post double crochets into the next four so that's one two three and four and then half double crochet the next one in the back loop only right here from I mean back post double crochet the next two just like so and then the last one half double crochet into both the spaces to end this row now to start row 17 we'll chain up two we'll flip our work and this is the row where we do our trebles to create our cable effect so the first thing we do is our half double crochet into that first first space and then we'll do front post double crochet in the next two And then half double crochet into that half double crochet back loop only then we're going to do our treble that's the first one treble number two treble number three trouble number four right in here okay flip our work up like that then we do a half double crochet into the half double crochet in the back loop only from post double crochet these two here that's one and then two then half double crochet across so that was the end of the row now I'm going to chain up two and then we turn our work and we're going to begin row 18 and we'll do half double crochet across for those first 14 all right so I did my 14 half double crochets and now I'm going to do back post in the next two back post double crochets into the next two okay then we'll do our half double crochet in the back loop for the next one right here then we're going to stretch it out find our first space to do our back post double crochet so that's one oops that's two That's three, and the last one is right here, just like that. So we got our four. Well, I think that was done a little wrong. We just we do that real quick. So I got two so far. A third one goes through here. Here we go. That's better. And then a fourth. 
right through there. It's four. And then a half double crochet goes right here on top of the next half double crochet. This is the half double crochet right here. So we go right on top. And then back post double crochet the next two. Just like that. And then the last one, we do a half double crochet. So that concludes row 18. For row 19, we're gonna chain up two. We're gonna turn our work. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing we've been doing, which is half double crochet, front post double crochet, into the next two. Oops. To the next two. There we go. Half double crochet that next space right there back loop only just like so and then we're going to do front post one two and three and the last one four okay we'll do a half double crochet into this next one we just twist up our work like this so we can see it so back loop half double crochet there. The next two we're going to do front post double crochet. Just like that. And then we continue on with the half double crochets. Alright, so here I am at the end of row 19 and I am going to chain up two. Turn my work. Half double crochet 14. And then we'll continue from there. This is row 20. All right, so I did my 14 half double crochets. And now I'm gonna continue with the rest of the pattern, which is back post double crochet, the next two double crochets. It's one and two. I'm gonna mm -hmm. half double crochet into that next half double crochet right here. And then back post double crochet the next four. One, two, three, and four. Just like so. And then in the next half double crochet, we'll do a half double crochet right on top. And then back post double crochet the next two. And half double crochet into the last space. Just like so. So that's the end of row 20. Now we're going to continue on to row 21. We're going to turn our work, chain two, turn our work. And this is where the cable um, part comes into play. And this is going to be the last treble, front post treble um, crochet row. So this is going to be the last cable effect. So we do the front post double crochets. And then half double crochet into the top of that next half double crochet and then we'll yarn over twice we'll skip over to this last front post and do a treble front post there next treble front post the next treble front post and the last just like so. Twist over like that. And then we'll do a half double crochet. The back loop only of the next half double crochet there. From post double crochet in the next two. Just like that. And then we half double crochet. 
these next 13 in the back loops only and then in the last space we'll do a half double crochet into both loops and that will conclude row 21 here I am in my last space and I'm doing my last half double crochet into both loops and that's how our work looks so you have a total of four cables and then for row 22 we'll chain two we'll do the same thing half double crochet across for 14 in the back loops only All right so I did my 14 half double crochet now I'm gonna do back post double crochet into that back post double crochet here's number two and then we'll do half double crochet right at the top of this one here in the back loop. And then we'll wiggle our way into these four and do back post double crochet. That's one. That's number two. Next one, oops. Number three, and then the last number four. Okay, and then we'll do our half double crochet right here. This is the half double crochet, so we go right in the top and we go through the back loop. And then we're gonna do front post, I mean, sorry, back post double crochet in the next two, and then half double crochet into the last space and that concludes row 22 and let me just show you how I count my rows so I know where what row I'm on so we started with the five single crochet rows so that's five right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and twenty two okay and now we're gonna conclude our glove well I should say mitten I keep call calling it a glove but we're gonna do the top which is to close close it up here at the top and I'm gonna show you how to do that now so I'm gonna show you how to do that and now we're gonna switch over to the eye hook the smaller hook to do this next couple of rows and to close up our glove all we're gonna do is chain one we're gonna turn our work we're gonna single crochet two together for this row. So single crochet two together all the way across. So you chain one and you go through both loops. We're gonna go through both and we're gonna single crochet two together. Single crochet two together. All the way across. Now, I'm just gonna mention if you want to make your glove a little longer then just in this next row, the one that we're working on now instead of doing both loops just do a whole row of single crochet so a whole total of 25 single crochet and then the next one you will do the single crochet two together but for me is the glove is perfect as you can see the length is perfect for my hand so I'm just gonna do two together here in this row all across like that and I still have one left so I'm just gonna single crochet into that one just the last one of the row then I'll do that again chain up one turn my work and as you can see it's closing the glove up I'm gonna do the same exact thing I'm gonna do two single crochet together one left so I'll just single crochet into that last one just like so as you can see we closed up the glove we fold it up 
you can see how close it is. Let me just open it up for you so you can see. And if you wanted to do it one more time, you can do that. But I think that's enough for me. Let me back up a little bit. So you can just see how my hand fits in it. All right. All right. So I'm going to put my hand in here. Just like so. And it's all the way at the top. It reaches right there. You can see my hand. And I have my nails. So there we go. And I think that's a perfect fit. Just like that. From the top of my fingers to the to my wrist. All right. So here we're gonna end our work, and we're gonna cut a long tail to sew our glove from here all the way to up where our thumb is gonna be sewn. Well, it's gonna be crocheted in. So I'll show you how to do that next. So I'll just take my hook and I'm gonna chain up one right and I'm gonna take a long tail and the, I'm gonna double it to what my glove size is and then a little bit more and then I'll just cut here let me just take a little bit more just in case so there we go cut our yarn and then we pull through and tighten up our work and that's when we grab our tapestry needle and we're gonna sew this up at the top here first and then we'll sew down this way to like I said where the thumb we want our thumb to be and then we, we sew this part up and we leave a space for our thumb I'll just show you how to do that get my tapestry needle take our glove and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show you real quick so this is the front of our glove and this is the back of our glove so I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna put it right into that first space and then into the second like zigzagging through my stitches well I should bring this up so you can see what I'm doing all right so I'm gonna take my needle go through that first space because I just want to end up on this side here so I can start sewing my glove down so I'm just gonna zigzag my needle through these stitches just like so and that's gonna close up the glove like that just pull See that? I just close it together. And then I'm gonna fold my glove like so. And I'm gonna start sewing this way. From here all the way to where I want my thumb to open. And this is I should have mentioned you're gonna need some stitch markers because you're gonna mark where you wanna stop sewing from this side and then from this side so let me get some stitch markers so we put our hand in the glove or the mitten excuse me keep saying glove and right about here we want to stop sewing this our thumb area so right about here so we're gonna grab that space right and it looks like we want to stop sewing right about here so I'm gonna put my gloves together mark it here right where I said I wanted to stop sewing right here and put our stitch marker through there to hold this place like that okay and then we're gonna put our hand back in there all right and then you have to grab here the other side of our thumb 
and mark where we want to stop sewing. So right about here, I want to stop. All right. So I'm going to take my, my, my mitten, make sure that it's nice and tidy. And right there where I said, I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to mark my space right there. Just like so. And I like these stitch markers because they don't fall out. Like the other ones, the ones that don't have the closure. So that's better. So this is going to be a thumb area and that's what we're gonna um work a thumb up okay so there so now i know that i want to sew from here to where that stitch marker is then i'll cut my work and then i'll retie my yarn here and sew from this part right here all the way to the end of the glove here so let's just do that now and i'm just gonna do a whip stitch always works fine for me. I have no problem with that. So I'm going to take my work like this. And just go in and out. So I'm going to go through here. And then bring it again. Grab those stitches. And just make sure that it's even. Like so. Just hold on to it and then sew like so. Do the same thing here. Just keep going like that. Back and forth, the whip stitch. And every so often, just open up your work. So you don't leave any gaps in between and you close the whole thing up. You want to keep your hands warm. Just like so. So this is going to be video one on the left hand mitten. In the next video I'll show you how to do the the, um, the mitten for your right hand which is basically the same thing just gonna do these stitches um, backwards instead of starting with the half double crochets we'll start with the double crochets and I'll explain that to you in the next video And the sewing part will be basically the same thing. The thumb will be basically the same thing. But again, we're gonna start our thumb. We're gonna insert our hook here on this part of the glove, right here, and go around. In the next glove, we will put our, we will start on the other side. Well, I'll show you anyway. I don't wanna confuse you right now. Let's just finish this left hand glove. All right, so. So I'm almost there. Well, I am here to my stitch marker. And before I cut my work, I want to put my hand in here and make sure, well, I should take this ring off. I'll put my hand in here to make sure that that's about right where I want to stop sewing for my thumb area. And it looks like it is. Just, every hand is different, so you stop where you think is best and I think that's great right there for me so I'm gonna stop there and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna just go through one more time right just to make a, a knot with my yarn and it's what you call a sewing knot and you do the same thing if you were sewing something together you just put the needle right through the space and then just pull tight right there and then just leave a long tail for sewing to show you here I'm gonna leave about that much so I can sew it into my work so it doesn't come undone and I still have enough here to start sewing this part of my work so I'm gonna turn it around like this because I'm gonna start from the bottom here up to where my stitch marker is so I'm gonna 
We start it here in this first part of the glove and then here in the second part of my glove of my mitten sorry <laughs> keep calling my glove and right here I want to make a little knot just like so and we just we end those ends when we're done we shouldn't let those bother us so here we are I'm gonna go right in there again so I can start sewing and get my needle in there here we go just like so and I'm just gonna whip stitch all the way up to the to the marker so just do the same thing and then before you cut your yarn just put your hand right back inside the mitten to make sure that you're satisfied with the open with the opening for the thumb And then we can begin on the thumb. All right, so I made it back to where my stitch marker is. And I'm just gonna do a few more, just to make sure. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And then I'm gonna insert my hand in here to make sure that I like Where is that? And I think that's perfect. Perfect right there where it is. Alright, so I'm going to tie a knot here so I can cut my yarn. Right there. Just go through it like that. Let's try a little knot. And just leave a long enough tail just to sew it in. Here we go. So here is where we're gonna work on our thumb. All right. So now I'm gonna take these off, and I am gonna start with my thumb, and I'm gonna take the the bigger size hook, which is the K six point five, and get my work my yarn here. I'm going to make a slip knot here. I'm going to take my crochet hook and this is the front of my glove. So I'm going to start on this side of the glove. And I'm going to insert it here and then put my work on it and pull on it here and I'm going to make a slip knot here like so and I'm gonna do half double crochets so I'm gonna put my first half double crochet right inside where we cast it on so my first half double crochet there okay and we're gonna work I'm gonna say six half double crochets on this side and then six half double crochets on the other side for a total of 12 so let's fit six onto this side and just put your hook wherever it fits and I'm just gonna go I'm gonna calculate so I did my first one already so I'm just gonna go two three four five and I can just see where I can do it so that's one two three four five and six so just want to make sure that I can fit all six there and then I'll just go into the next space just find the next available space and sometimes you have to and there you go and that's going to be two half double crochets that I've done so far and I'm going to do the next half double crochet to the next space that I can put my hook into I need three more for this side so I'm going to find the next one I'm going to put it right in here So that's number four. Then I'm gonna do the next one. We do right here. If I can get it in there. And just wiggle it in there. Five. And then my last one. On this side will be six. 
going to show you here. I have six half double crochets on this side. And don't worry, if you have any gaps, you can actually, if you want, you can sew that together with an extra piece of yarn to close up any openings you might have. But that's not going to bother me. And then I'll just turn my work like this slightly. And I'll work my next six half double crochets on the other side here. That's one. And then I'll find the next space. That's two. Oops. Two. And then three. Right. Next one will be four. And five. And the last one. I'm going to put it right in here. I can get it in there. Just going to find my way in there. There we go. It's going to be six half double crochets, right? So to continue to the next row, we're not going to um, slip stitch to the first. We're just going to continuously go around. So that's where a stitch marker will come in handy. So you can remember what your first um, space is. So here I'm going to do half double crochet two together. So these two, I'm going to do a half double crochet two together. So I'm going to go right in there. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the next one, pull up a loop, and then complete my half double crochet two together. So that's the first one of the row. I'm going to put my stitch marker in there so I can mark it. Then I'm just going to do half double crochet the next. So that's one. And then just half double crochet around the rest of them. So you're just going to half double crochet two together in the beginning. Okay, and then just go around. Just like so. Here's my next one. Here's my next one. And now I'm, I'm down to my last two, so I'm going to half double crochet two together here, just like so. All right. So we started with 12, and now we should have 10 half double crochets. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Again, we won't close our rows here. We just continuously go around. Now we're going to do a half double crochet here. Regular half double crochet. And that's going to be our first of this row, which is row three of our thumb. And then we'll do, oops, regular half double crochet in the next one. And just go around for 10 half double crochets. And what's great about this thumb, you can adjust it to your liking. You can do as many, you can begin with as many half double crochets as you want. You could, you could start with less if you wanted to. And then you could do more if you wanted to. All you have to do is insert, once you start it, you could insert your thumb in there to see if you like how it's going. So you can know when to stop. So you can start closing up your thumb and that's exactly what I did when I created my first pair I just went with the flow I just kept putting my my hand in, in it to make sure that I liked the fit of it so here I, I did my last half double crochet so I'm gonna put my hand in here so I can see how my thumb is gonna be feeling see and that's good do I want to, um, we're going to decrease again in, in this next row. So that's how I feel. Like I need to decrease. So that's what I'm going to do. Take it off. Strip my hook back in here. 
and I'm just going to decrease one time in this row. So I'll take my stitch marker out and then insert my hook through the through there, pull up a loop, go through two, don't finish it up, just insert your hook into the next one for half double crochet two together, just like that, like so. Then I put my stitch marker back in here to mark my first one and then continue to half double crochet across the thumb. If you wanted to, um, you can also do just the back loops if you wanted to, to, so it looks like the back of your glove, but I think I'm fine with going with the both. I did the same thing to the other glove and I like the way it looked. So I'm just going to continue here. And then I'm going to try it on again to see if I like how it feels and to establish it how many more rows I need to make before I close it. And this is the last one here. Okay, I'll put my hand back in it. See that? So I'm gonna need at least two more rows of half double crochet before I close it up. So I'm gonna do two more rows of half double crochet without uh, decreasing or anything like that. So just do two more rows of half double crochet. Put my hook back in there, I mean my marker. So I can know which one is my first, or you can just count your stitches. And that was one of them, so that's the first one. That's two, three, four, five, whoops, five, six, seven, eight. do this one more time all right so I made actually two more rows to cover my thumb just to show you how it looks as you can see it's almost closed so now all we have to do is close it and I'm going to show you how to do that now so from beginning to end you should have a total of seven rows and if seven rows is too much for you, then you do six rows. So here is how you count them, how you know you have seven rows. This is the very first one right here. This is where we found those hard stitches to get into to create the first 12. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one is seven. So I have a total of seven and that should be enough. And I'm gonna cast off here to complete my thumb. And I'm just gonna chain up one and then I'm just gonna cut a nice size not too much because we just want to close it up right there it's good pull it through and then we're gonna grab our tapestry needle okay I'm gonna thread our needle with the yarn And I'm just going to do the same exact thing that I did to the top, was go through the stitches to close it up. Oh wait, you know what I forgot? I forgot to even out my thumb. So I'm going to undo this here. And forgive me for that, but as you can see, we all make mistakes. And I'm just going to fix it here with you guys. Hopefully the needle stays in place. There you go. Alright, so I'm supposed to finish it off here by slip stitching into the very next space like so and then you can go through it here we go 
now it's even that. All right, so now I'm going to go through the stitches, in and out the stitches. So I'm going to go in like so, and then out the very next one, then in and out, and in and out, and then just pull on it, and that closes it up. And just keep doing that until it's completely closed. And then in and out, in and out one more time, like so. And I'm just gonna pull, and that's it, it's closed. Now what I wanna do is weave in this tail. So I'm gonna first make my sewing knot, like so. So it doesn't come apart. And then I'll just weave it through the stitches. And the thumb area is done. Now if you want to um, check your thumb before you weave it in, that's another, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, I can weave it in. I can weave, weave in all my tails actually. So I'm going to do that now. And I'll just just put that back and forth so it doesn't come undone. Be good enough. I'm just gonna cut my yarn here, and then I'm gonna sew in these ends here, and just continue to weave in to, so we can finish finish our mitten, and then stay tuned for part two of the right hand side, which, like I said before, is gonna be following the same pattern, just backwards. That's all.